They found her in 1901. Construction workers in York hit stone, a coffin sealed for 16 centuries, inside a woman, surrounded by wealth that didn't make sense. Ivory bangles circled her wrists, carved from African elephants, shipped across empires. Jet jewelry from Northern England, Mediterranean glass beads scattered across her bones. This wasn't some peasant burial. This was Roman aristocracy, 70 miles from the edge of the known world. For 109 years, British historians studied her, published papers, built museum displays, reconstructed her life in textbooks, and in every single rendering, every illustration, every academic description, they made her white. No one questioned it. Then in 2010, researchers at the University of Reading ran DNA analysis on her remains, North African ancestry, and that broke me. She had lived as elite in Roman York 17 centuries ago, buried with honor and wealth. The evidence had surrounded her from the beginning, African ivory, Mediterranean trade goods, a burial reserved for the powerful. Yet for over a century, historians saw the grave goods, cataloged the luxury, wrote dissertations on Roman York's upper class and assumed whiteness until DNA forced them to see what was always visible. A North African woman lived, died, and was honored at the edge of the Roman Empire. But history made her invisible for 109 years. Search, North African woman Roman York DNA burial. They buried the evidence with her, then buried her again in their textbooks. That's what broke me.